So we're out here using um, a, hum a hummingbird side scan. Um, and this is what we use to look for stuff on the bottom uh, of lakes. So we're out here on a very beautiful lake today. Um, you can actually right see, oh, so we're looking for a boat at there the moment. And here you can see, yeah, I got it. Uh, so we've got a wall here uh, that's submerged from when this wasn't a reservoir or oh, lake. Mark, got it, hang on, watch out. There we mark go. Just next to it, then you... Yeah, and then we might move it across to do a screenshot. So what we've just done is marked a boat that we found on here. Um, and you can see we get all the information on the right here, so you can see the depth uh, to the bottom. The black bit in the middle is actually a kind of blind so what you don't spot want to do sonar. Is mark right on it, though. Yes, I know. That's what we were told. <laughs> so you mark just off it, so you don't obscure the actual image. But as you can see, if I zoom in, you can see quite a good outline it's of the boat there on the bottom. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, the black spot we've got here in the middle is the kind of blind spot. Of the two side scanning pits coming out sideways. So. Um, you've got basically the depth of the water column below. So this is everything we're seeing out to the left at an angle and everything we're seeing out to the right. Uh, and the settings here show that we're actually looking out as far as about 60 feet uh, on either side. So you can very clearly see how we can pick up an old wall along the bottom of the reservoir that's going under the boat and then across the boat here. So what we'll do now is mark that. And let's go back to scanning. Yeah, and then we'll go back to scanning again. And now the plan would be to drop a buoy down on this, or a buoy as you Americans would call it, um, and then do another pass. We can also measure it so we can see what size it is. What is it giving us for size? I'm guessing about 12 or 14 feet. It's showing 10, but that could have something to do with the angle yeah. that we hit it at. So, but it, but I mean, it's within the ballpark of what we're looking yeah. for. Uh, so there you go. So we're now just restarted it again, so you'll see a new scan of what we've got coming under here. And we would then do a second pass, maybe at a different angle, just to confirm, or and then try and get a buoy dropped on it. Yeah. And so, well, we're not going to drop buoy. No, we're not going to do it today. There's go-to, the and there's camera. I held that. If you hold down the go to. the camera go-to button, it took a screenshot of what was on there as gotcha. a picture. And there it is again. We just oh. went over it. And there it is again now from a slightly different angle as we go over again. You can see quite clearly the outline. Oh, off course. Um, you can see the angle slightly different. You can see the wall it's against. So again, that gives us uh, an indication of the location of the boat. So we now know it's just behind us, behind us over there. So yeah, this is one of the ways that we use when we're out searching to uh, look for missing items that are at the bottom of the lake or anything that theoretically as small as a gun uh, to a person or um, as big as a car or a boat. So there you go.